All right, here we have this chemical, and it says it is decaying at a rate of 2.27% per year. We are going to find out its half-life. What does this mean? This means how long it takes. So let me just write it down, right? How long it takes, how long it takes, the amount of years it takes, right? For the original. amount to be halved right? so in another word if you start with 100 then you are going to find out how long it will take so you can get 50. if you start with 200 you want to find out how long it will take for you to just get 100 etc etc right so now this is how we are going to do it because he says we have a percentage change so we are going to use q for the quantity that's equal to a for the initial amount times 1 plus r raised to the t's power and it says per year so just you know t that's all all right here it says we have 2.27 percent this means that r is equal to 2 point well we have to change that to decimal well that's 0 0.0227 great however though you see we have this word decays Meaning that we have a negative R because the amount is getting smaller and smaller. All right, now let's see how we can do the following. What's the original amount? I don't know, but I can just say it's going to be one. I say one gram or one kilogram, doesn't matter. But the most important thing is that if you start with one for the original, you are going to find out how long it will take for you to get half of it so you want to put a Q to be one half. So that's the key of solving this question. If you want to put A to be 30, then you just put Q to be 15, right? 30 and that's equal to 15. But if you divide both sides by 30, you see this is going to be one. And by the way, we have another formula. And this right here, 30 divided by, sorry, 15 divided by 30 will still give you one half. So you can just put down one right here and one half right here, that will do the work. All right, and then we have the one, and then the R is this, which is negative 0 0.0227, and then we are going to raise this to the T's power, like that. All right, so now let's just solve for T. Here is one half, and one times this is still that, but I will actually change this to decimal, work that out, you know, just do one minus that. One, uh, you get 0 0.0. 9773 to the t's power like this. All right, t is here, so what do we do? Well, we're just going to take the logarithm, but it's log of what? Well, the base is right here, right? So we have to do log base of 0 0.9773, so be really careful with this. So that this and that will cancel. We do the same thing here, log base of 0. 9773 like that right this way we will see that t is still t and let me just write this down right here for you guys this right here it's the same as saying log of and the one half it's the same as 0 0.5 and we divide it by log of this which is 0 0.9773 right and in the end just be sure you use your calculator and let me just do that for you guys on the side. All right, so if you work that on your, on your calculator, you will get T to be approximately 30.19. And this is years, all right? So this right here is it.